I go to the cinema once a year. That's usually enough for me. So I'm by no means a movie buff. But um, since 1995, I have went to see every single Batman movie. And even that one movie, which is featured in this list, he had a cameo in. And I'm going to see, I've been invited to see, the the new Joker film, Saturday. I'm intrigued by it. I'm intrigued by how much shite will be in it. It could be a good film. It could be a good film. Do I think it will be my cup of tea? Probably not. But since, you know, I've, I've seen all these Batman related films since 95, I thought it would be a good time to re-rank the Batman, Batman related films once again. So here it goes and I'm going to do it very quickly because I'm lazy. 11, Batman and Robin 997, 10, The Justice League 2017, 9, Suicide Squad 2016, 8, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice 2016, 7, Batman Forever 995, 6, Batman 1966, 5, The Dark Knight Rises 2012, 4, this may trigger some, The Dark Knight Overrated 2008, 7 out of 10 I would give it overall, to me, The Dark, and I saw this film three times in the cinema, I was uh, a Batman mark back then, to use a wrestling slang term, um, it has some terrific scenes in The Dark Knight. Heath Ledger's performance as his Joker character was great, still fantastic, but take him out of the film. There's a very a lot of dull scenes in this film and it's overall not that enjoyable. You know, you've got to really be in the mood for this movie. And to me, my third place Batman Returns overall is a better film. It has many flaws, but overall it's a better film than The Dark Knight there, so from 992. Top two Batman films, in my opinion, are Batman Begins, which I seen in the cinema in 2005. Batman had been on the shelf for eight years. Nothing from him following the disaster that was Batman and Robin, my worst, in my opinion, in many other people's opinions, the worst Batman film of all time. Uh, Batman Begins, to me, was where the Dark Knight trilogy peaked, and is the best one out of the three. I give it an 8 out of 10, but my number one Batman movie of all time, 30 years old this year, is Batman from 1989, starring Jack Nicholson as the Joker, and my personal favourite Batman, Michael Keaton.